Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a returning viewer. So if you guys would like to see how I installed this water wave transparent, okay, not even HD and y'all see how this is melted. Yeah, if y'all would like to see how I installed this wig from Beauty Forever Hair 24 inches, keep on watching. So we're getting straight into it. I know y'all probably like, where's your intro? <laughs> um, it was like a copyrighted song on it. So I need to change that song. But until then, we're going straight into the video. So now that I have my wood cap on it stretched out, I'm taking my scissors and cutting around my ears. Finally got me some fresh braids, by the way, because the fresh braids just make the flatness of the wig even better. But I'm taking my Evan Wonder Lace Spray and I'm spraying that around my cap right in front of my hairline. And then I'm smoothing that out with my finger. I'm not taking too much spray. Kind of just want to build it up as I go because if I spray too much, it's going to drip all on my forehead and it's not going to have the best placement. So I'll be really steady and careful with the placement and how I spray on the spray. So now I'm taking my blow dryer on a cool high setting and I'm blow drying this all the way around until it is completely dry. Then I'm taking this glue. I will have it linked down below. This is Get Crazy the Glue by Chastity. She's from Atlanta. I picked this up because I was running out of my Erica J, but this stuff works really good. So I will link it down below for sure. But I'm using this on these sides of my cap so it can stay down. You don't want to use too much, okay? Just use just enough spread it out until it is thin and then blow dry it on a cool high setting until it is clear and dried this side didn't get as clear but that's okay i'm using my scissors my small scissors and i'm pushing this cap back as i go to cut off the cap since i'm using the spray it does kind of get where i don't want it to lay so i do have to pull it back just a little bit sometimes to get it exactly where i want it to be so i'm cutting that smooth off all the way around lifting it again so it can be exactly in front of my hairline This is what I do for my cap to be secured in the back and it won't move. I cut it straight down the middle and then I just tie it up in a double knot and then I cut off the excess cap and boom, we're secure. You don't want to tie it too tight though because then you're going to get a migraine. <laughs> I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation Level RD15 and this brush here. I usually use like a fluffy brush, but I was like, hmm. I seen somebody use this on Instagram and I was like, hmm, let me try to use a brush like this. And it was a really smooth application. So yeah, I do recommend if you're interested in switching it up just because. So I'm just applying this makeup all over my cap. I'm not using too much of a heavy amount. So this is what it looks like. This is what the wig looks like. Okay, super cute. The water wave is giving after a fresh wash and condition air dry this is what the inside of the wig looks like it's a 13 by 4 lace front not lace frontal so it's not too much space for parting but it gets the job done for what we're going for here i'm just cutting off some of this extra lace that's kind of just unnecessary i don't want this to be in my face while i'm installing this wig so i'm just cutting that off and then i'm cutting around my ear tabs it was very easy to do and not a lot of lace that i had to cut off around my ears because y'all know in my last videos if you watch i've been talking about how these wigs have been super big lately like a medium cap and i have a petite head so i told them look like i need me a small cap so they sent me a small cap hopefully companies bring back the option between small medium and large caps because medium as the average standard size isn't cutting it for the girls with small heads it just makes it a lot harder to install and I realized when I put this wig on how easy it was to install a wig and how good it came out when the wig actually fits my head properly. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyways, back to the regularly scheduled program. I am taking my glue and gliding that around my cap and I'm smoothing that out with my popsicle stick okay real slight not pushing it too forward keeping it really in the same spot that i applied the glue and just yeah smoothing that out until it is a thin layer and to where we can blow dry it okay so yeah smoothing that out especially around my ears so we can have that nice 
effective sideburns and scalp okay blow drying that on a cool high setting until it is completely dry this glue didn't really take long to dry at all either and it got super sticky i do recommend this glue i definitely do so um yeah using my other or getting into the other layer i did four layers of this glue this is my last one that i'm showing you guys and i noticed when i applied that glue and just kind of glided right down the cap where i had that cap applied and then smooth it out Ooh, it's effortless installing that effortless placement for the wig so yeah you guys pay attention to how i do this Don't be afraid to lightly tap on the glue to make sure it is dry or to see the process of it. See if it's tacky, not tacky. I mean, not dry, <laughs> but tacky, okay? Dry, but tacky. You feel me? You don't want it to be dry like you don't feel shit, but tacky, okay? That's how you're gonna know it's time. So now that it's time, I'm pulling my wig forward and I'm placing that directly into the glue. Like when I tell y'all this was so much smoother since this wig fit my head, like, so much smoother to place it exactly where i want it to be so i'm pressing that in with my fingers and i'm kind of keeping the cap right aligned not the cap but the lace right aligned with the cap like i'm not taking the wig forward i'm keeping it to the side where i applied the cap and the glue if that makes sense so i'm pushing all that in and then i'm taking my fine tooth comb and my blow dryer on a cool high setting and just combing that glue through so it can really melt okay really really melt look at how clean that hairline looks y'all every wig that i put on unless i say otherwise i bleach and pluck it okay bleach and pluck it so yeah i'm getting this part together because i knew i wanted a middle part and before i tie the lace down it'd be looking really good like when you get the part together before actually putting on the tie on the band so i'm getting that band directly aligned with the lace where the hairline is and that glue is tying that up for 10 minutes and in the meantime we're gonna get this part even more together and get it flat okay so i'm making a t part because it did have enough room to do this which plus okay so i'm using the end of the rat tail comb to end the front as you guys can see because like the kind of comb that i got it has like a extra i don't know how to explain it but y'all seen i'm not even gonna try to explain that but yeah i use both sides of the comb to get the perfect t part and i'm using my carry care wax stick and i'm using a good amount of that i usually would say go lightly but this wig we needed it to be super flat like it wasn't flat at all so yeah we need it to be real flat so i'm taking my hot comb smoothing all that out smoothing that product out throughout the hair and yeah that's how we get it flat y'all look at the back of it yeah look at that yeah we ain't even did much yet but it looks really really good so now we're going in to do even more so it can be super duper flat and i'm like hmm this would be cute with like two pigtails like i really should start styling wigs more but i just am in my comfort zone and i just i think it's me being a capricorn that i really like sleek styles like middle part side part keep it simple but yeah you guys i'm taking different sections of the hair parting it like two inches apart and now on this part you don't want to use a lot of wax because you don't want the hair to appear greasy so i used just enough and i'm using my hot comb and i'm smoothing that out and getting this to be super duper flat like once you get done with this step it just be looking so salon fresh like you just hopped out this chair and a celebrity stylist or someone who's really good just did your hair but really you did that shit okay so yeah don't be lazy like get hot comb all of the hair in the front it makes it look 10 times better so i did the same thing on the other side and now the band is off i cut it in between with my scissors and now i'm taking my razor and i'm cutting off this lace so when i cut off the lace it was a lot of lace that left behind so we're going to cut that off <laughs> Up close and personal for you guys, I took my scissors to get an even cleaner cut. 
because yeah i like my lace to be seamless and not too much lace there to where it just doesn't look natural because it's not needed so i'm kind of trying to cut it in a jagged motion so i won't cut straight across because when i tend to cut straight across in the front it just looks super noticeable so i made it kind of jagged but once the lace is melted again you won't be able to tell like it's jagged so that's the beauty of it so i'm cutting off the rest of the lace here To melt the lace that wasn't sticking down, I'm taking my glue again in a small, tiny, itsy bitsy amount in the bottom of my comb to smooth it out to where it is like controlled and it's not moving around too much. Then I'm just taking the bottom of that comb, flattening it out. Then boom, we're back in the game and I'm doing that on this side too. Really tiny amount, okay? You don't want to use a lot because that's going to get messy. It's going to get messy and we don't want to get I mean, glue on the actual lace where it's lifted because that's not going to dry that's just going to be white so yeah you want to be very careful with that but yeah blow drying this on a cool high setting using my finger to kind of extra stick it in to my skin so yeah next side we're repeating the same steps tiny bit amount of glue smoothing that out with my comb really focused here okay because we can see where the lace is and where we need this glue to go and where to stick it down at so yeah you guys pressing that down with my finger and boom we're in the game so usually i melt the lace again right here but i forgot like the lace was looking real melted to me so i guess i wasn't thinking like come on you melt this again so <laughs> pulling out the baby hairs now as you guys can see i wanted to have perfect baby hair is like oh this lace just looks so good and i'm like damn like are you sure this is not hd like come on now so yeah you guys pulling out my baby hairs i want to have just enough like nothing crazy nothing too thin or too thick i noticed though like once the install is over and it's like been a day or two i'll be like hmm i want this to be shorter and thinner so i don't know maybe like next install i'll make it my mission to do the natural baby hairs that i end up having after i do my video because even though they be looking really good like once i'm in the moment doing my baby hairs i think i just have a fetish for thick baby hairs <laughs> not even thick but like it'd be a difference like i don't know how to explain it but y'all i know y'all can tell the difference like yeah but yeah i'm pushing this hair back here getting that hairline nice and slick before we tie these down now that i sat here and thought about it the word that i'm looking for is dramatic the way i do my baby hairs on camera is super dramatic because i just be in the moment and it just be looking real good like i love me a dramatic baby hairs but like two three years ago my baby hairs were super thin and short like i don't know i just started to they just grew on me and i know it's not everybody's preference y'all be saying in my videos sometimes the haters will say oh this isn't natural at all but it's just drama like it's literally just drama i'm taking this small makeup brush here using my rd15 and i'm putting that makeup a little bit like a really small amount on the hairline and on the lace then i'm taking my rd15 i'm not rd15 y'all i'm tweaking my <laughs> Ebon Wonder Lace Spray, the red can, and I'm spraying that around my hairline. You don't want to use a lot of this, just enough. Okay, y'all see how much I'm using? I'm using my finger to dab it, and I'm spraying it as well, just so I can have a little bit more control. And yeah, boom, I tied that down for 10 minutes, and now we're back cutting off the baby hair. So I usually use a razor, but I'm like, nah, no more razor. <laughs> Literally no more razor. I get such a clean cut when I use these scissors. And kind of like in a jacket motion, like not cutting straight across, but you know. When you trim the baby hair, it's as if you're doing layers. It just comes out looking more natural. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, not straight across. Because if you cut it straight across, it's not going to give you like the super, I don't know. It's just not going to look as natural, okay? <laughs> so I'm using my, um, what you call this? What do you call this? What do you call this? Brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. My pencil flat iron by Kiss. Yeah, pencil flat iron. That's what this is, <laughs> y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm curling my baby hairs. I like to curl them upwards in the front and under for my sideburn. 
to melt these baby hairs i'm using a roby holding foam and i'm using the comb side of my edge brush and i'm just kind of spooping everything like using my finger to help mow it and just doing a c shape all the way throughout until i get the perfect shape that i like and then spooping everything together into the hairline and then i'm using some got to be glue gel to further like so it can hold at the end of it you feel me because the foam is going to let it hold so and look how neat this tool is like y'all like i wish i could link this down below i don't know what brand this was i just picked it up at the hair store because i'm like oh this is neat but yeah i'm blow drawing this on a heat setting so that it can mold into place because using foam it kind of just the baby hairs won't mold in place like i didn't want them to look fluffy well i did but not right now <laughs> i wanted it to look fresh and molded so yeah for my sideburns, I like to just curl it a little bit, take my finger to kind of shape it and get it to have it a little curl at the end. You know, a lot of drama. So I'm just repeating the same thing on the left side. I don't know what it is, but the left side always looks thinner. Like the baby hairs always come out thinner in a good way like i like the way this side be coming out but yeah you guys i have to pull out some more hairs because it wasn't spooping into the hairline like it was on the other side so i just wanted it to be super even so i did that i'm just making everything look really clean and neat here and then i'm going to blow dry it to mold it into place and boom like oh look at the scalp so yeah sideburns doing that mm-hmm 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 it's really just all about your finger, the edge brush. It's just you, the finger, <laughs> and the product and the edge brush. Like, it's literally just spooping. Like, see motion, see motion, see motion. Blow drying that so that I can stay in place. And boom, we are in the game. For this part to look natural, I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in RD11 and this Spawn Makeup Brush. And I'm taking that right in the middle of the part. And you kind of want to just faintly apply this and drag it all the way down to the bottom, right where the lace is. So it can look like once you turn to the side, it'd be looking like scalp. Okay. Like you want to put it right like a tiny bit in front of the lace onto your skin and then boom, you got you some scalp there, you know, get your scalp. Just moving that out with your finger and I'm taking this black hairspray and the bottom of my comb here just to get this part to look a lot cleaner and a lot thinner because we don't want a wide part. The thin parts always eat. So yeah, I'm using this Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And since this hair was a water wave, it was really pretty once it was air dried after I conditioned it and washed it. So I didn't want to wet it and damp it all the way. So I just took a little bit of this product, but I did go to the sink real quick <laughs> and wet it just a tiny bit, just so the product would apply a little bit smoother. And then I'm taking my bio soak to the front. So that this install will look even smoother and this hair will look smoother and it smells really good. So why not? <laughs> I'm taking my hot comb to smooth that out. And yeah, look how flat it looks. Look at that T part. So clean. Like, oh my gosh. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, let's take a look. Let's admire this install. I hope you guys learned something from this. Make sure to check the description box for all the information on this hair and information on me. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, okay? By the way, I did cut this hair after I installed it just so it can look fuller. And I thought it would be really cute in the mid-length bob. So if you've seen that on Instagram, this is that hair. But I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!